Okay, today we are talking about equity and I'm gonna to try to move around a little while I make this short video because I'm so sick of sitting in one place on Zoom. So let's have some fun. Okay, so first I'm going to say that equity is a framework and a practice, but not an outcome. Um, this is meant to be provocative. And so you may think equity is an outcome and you could disagree with me and probably be correct. But my point is that we're gonna be thinking about equity um, in Design Forward as a process and a practice um, rather than something that we achieve, um, not a stable thing that you can actually complete. One of the slides here um, I think is really helpful in teasing out the difference between equity and equality. Um, first of all, you may have seen that meme that's going around the internet about the difference between equity and equality. And um, what the meme really suggests to me is that this is a conversation that's still in flux, um, that there isn't one agreed upon definition of equity and equality. And some people use those terms interchangeably, and some people think they are really radically different from each other. So it's one of the things that we want to consider um, is what is the definition of equity and when you're thinking about equitable practice, what's the difference between uh, treating everybody the same um, and treating everybody differently based on the needs that different people have. And there's no one right way to design a course with that question in mind, um, but we just want to be thinking about it. Um, we may be talking about universal design for learning in the next couple of weeks, and I think UDL is a really great thing for us to focus on, not just because there's great practices in UDL for um, thinking about designing our courses, um, but also because the idea of designing universally um, is a really provocative one. Can we actually make a learning environment that works for everyone? Um, and if we can't, then what is it exactly that we're striving for when we create our learning environments and, and hope that they are more equitable? So we're going to approach UDL uh, both as a set of practices, but also as a mindset um, that keeps the idea of equity at the front of the work that we do. At the core, a lot, a lot of this work on equity is about social justice. And one of the useful frameworks for thinking about social justice that I have found is in the work of Sarah Lambert, who's writing actually about open education, which is interesting to us at PSU because um, open education is one of the foundational pillars of cluster learning. Um, but Sarah Lambert talks about sort of three ways that we can um, identify or think about social justice when we are creating equitable learning environments. Um, and I'm just going to refer to my notes here. This is the table that's in the slide deck that you might want to check out. But she talks about uh, redistributive justice, and that's really the idea um, that we try to get learning into more hands, that we reduce barriers so that more people can come to the table to learn. We're distributing learning more widely. Um, but she also talks about recognitive justice, which is um, the ability to recognize and respect uh, cultural differences. Um, so the idea there is perhaps that students would recognize themselves in the curriculum that they have. Um, and we sometimes see this when we're talking about uh, media, when we say things like representation matters, um, that ability to see oneself reflected in the things that you are learning about. Um, but the last one is called representational justice. And she actually means that a little bit differently than we tend to think about representation. She means representation like political representation like the idea that your voice and your needs and your agency is represented in the learning experience. Um, so that's really, I think, uh, about voice as much as anything. So when we're talking about lear making learning environments um, more equitable, we're not just talking about giving people access to knowledge, um, but also about all the ways that they participate in the knowledge experience um, in, in, in learning. So Design Forward is not going to um, teach you what equity is. Um, it's not going to tell you what equity is, um, but it's going to ask you to learn with us uh, about equity and about how we can make our courses more equitable and the kinds of processes and practices that we want to embrace in order to make uh, PSU a more equitable place to learn. See you online.